What is going on, guys? And welcome back to Hoodigan Gaming. Uh, as you can see here on the last episode, uh, we built this 1500 horsepower Audi R8, and it was a pretty good monster, and it was a fun car to drive and everything. And it was also a fun build. I hope y'all enjoyed it. But this time, I got something special. Uh, we're gonna find. We're gonna be building the Hauler Super Duty 750 pickup truck, and uh, we're gonna put the uh, Llama Racing. Uh, I think it's a V12 racing engine in it. And it is going to have some horsepower. I've done this build before. And it's always been a fun truck to drive. And always been a good build. Uh, let's see. We need this chassis here. So we're going to get that. And we're on a fresh start here. Fresh plate. Alright. So we're going to go to shop. We're going to go to engine. Engine kits. We're going to make this really quick for y'all. Yeah, there we go. So, uh, we got Llama Performance V12 Racing Engine. I believe you gotta download this, uh, engine. Uh, I'll probably, I'll try to have a download link in the description. Uh, I may be able to find it. I may not. No promises. So, yeah, let's, uh, buy this engine and let's just go ahead and throw it in the truck and then we'll come back and finish it off. Alright, so here we go. We got a nice empty engine bay nice shiny frame and beast motor cow that thing's nasty alright so uh... one thing that we gotta do with this engine uh... the only thing engine wise to do to it is we gotta go back we gotta go to the v12 type we gotta go performance systems and we gotta buy two ninety six pound bottles two pressure gauges for the bottles and we have got to buy a fuel or a uh, nitrous rail and we're gonna buy this nitrous rail here and we can buy two of these and that's the max amount of nitrous that we can fit on the truck so now we can go back and go back and now we can work on body that quick alright so uh, we're gonna get stock body or stock door sorry about that uh, where are they at here right here so we'll get driver's door, passenger door, we'll get a little roll bar, uh, front bumper, lights, uh, front left quarter panel, and front right quarter panel. Uh, we're not going to run a hood just because race truck. Uh, rear right, rear left, it don't really matter, we don't need no street body parts, just whatever. Uh, lights and windows. We'll buy some windows and maybe some lights. So boom, 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 boom. Uh, aqua headlights, sure. Sounds good. Alright, and I think that's it for that. Uh, we'll get some neon lights real quick. It's gonna be, uh, pretty sure aqua is right here. If not, white, whatever. Okay, mufflers. We'll just get that. You know, muffler ain't gonna change nothing. Uh, go back to here. Exhaust systems. Oh. Alright, uh. I'm gonna say here. Exhaust. Yep, there we go. So we need both of those. Did I buy that? I'm just gonna say about it. Okay, so we're. Now we can work on a uh, running gear. We can go suspensions, come over here to the same struts I always run, uh, wherever they're at, here they are, alright, buy them real quick, and shocks, springs, whatever, uh, I don't know, what are we going to rock out today? These, uh, uh, yeah, sure. And we'll just buy two of those. And we're gonna want these shocks right here. And that's done. So we move on to brake systems. Everything else should be pretty fast. Uh, except for uh, tires, it might take a second uh, because I think these are in stock rims. All right.
right there we go and we're looking for the 15 wads there we are we're going to need two of those and we're going to need two of these 16 radius uh, tires we're going to need two of these and we're going to need two little skinny 16s which is right here and that's that for running gear uh, now we just go ahead and get interior uh, we're just going to go ahead and get the SL tuner steering wheel that's why I run on everything it looks alright and seats we're going to run I don't know the name but it has red harnesses and it looks really cool so yep so after this I'm pretty sure the truck will run uh, we're going to install the NOS, install that, install that, blah 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 clicky 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 uh... install mufflers first then that uh... gotta install shocks first and then springs and then that super lag uh oh i didn't think about something Yeah. okay so we're gonna take that off cause that kinda goes on the rear the game always uh... um oops it always works from the uh... front wheels to the back wheels and my the way i buy my uh, wheels um... let's turn this on real quick the way i buy my wheels i always buy the uh... backs first so it kinda always puts the backs on the front you gotta manually install it to the back if i can install it, there we go so you gotta drag it to the rear axle drag this one to the rear axle and then these fronts will automatically place yourselves install that tire, install these tires, install that, install that and vroom ah of course it's always the battery always forget the battery no. come on we don't need that okay so now, vroom, yay, oh man, this thing turns some RPMs, uh, I think it goes up to uh, 15,000 RPMs in fact, uh, let's do a quick tune real quick, uh, yeah 15,000 RPMs, I've always liked the low idle, uh, with this, uh, da -da 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 -da, there we go, nitro system, uh, 1300 shot I think we'll I think we'll rock out 1400 shot somewhere close to there close enough alright and fuel rail I'll find it one day there it is and I believe it's always been better low I'm pretty sure. Let's see the horsepower. Oh god no. Oh it should be way higher than that. Okay back to fuel rail. It must have been high. That's always liked it. Uh, let's look now. We went from 1300 horsepower to 2001 horsepower. I think that's a good jump. <laughs> okay uh, we're going to continue to go what way? Let's bring it to 1875. Let's see what it does now. We're at 2018 horsepower. You know, man, I want to say that's good enough, but I know my other engine on my other truck uh, has around 2400. So, beings, I know it's possible. I really want to get it there. Let's bring it down, see if it needed to go down. Uh, no, definitely not. We're just going to go ahead and run it lean. It don't need fuel. What fuel's overrated. Okay, maybe, maybe not so much. It needs some fuel. 1925. It does, if this doesn't improve it, 
I'm gonna put it back at 19. Yeah, I'm gonna put it back at uh probably 18.75 in fact, and uh rock that out. Yep, right there. Let's just reinsure that we're at the 2,000 mark. We are. Okay, so 2,018 horsepower is what we got in this guy. Uh, let me do a quick tune on transmission. I already pretty much know what we need all the way down. And jump there, jump there, about to there, about to there, and about to there. And reverse, it don't really matter. We'll never use it. End ratio goes all the way down. Lock rate goes all the way up and all the way to the rear. Alright, so now that's done. We can go ahead and we can take this to the test track. Uh, let's let it load up here. Just wait one second for me. Alright guys, well we are here at the test track, we got our truck, we got our nasty freaking engine sitting there looking pretty, and we got a nice long stretch right around the corner up there. Uh, let's crank it up and make sure everything runs right, and make sure we don't, oh, okay, let's just instantly move forward. Alright, so let's try to get a pass on it without blowing anything up, and without like running into walls or anything. Was probably not going to happen. Uh, I'm gonna guess that this thing is gonna get around 350 miles per hour. Uh, but I'm, I really don't know. I have no idea what this thing is gonna do. By the way, guys, I haven't even floored the throttle yet. Like, I'm maybe, I've maybe got a half throttle so far. This, this is gonna be insane. This is it right here. So uh, let's get lined up and let's pedal them. Ugh. Let's uh, pan to win it. Put e brake on and go straight ahead to time the acceleration of your car. I don't even think their timer can keep up. All right, so we'll get RPMs up here and we'll drop the clutch right about now. Oh my God. This is going way too fast. Way, 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 way too fast. Where are we at? 337 miles per hour. I'm going to go ahead and hit the brakes here. Oh, that was too close. 15.124 seconds. I don't know, man. I think my other truck ran in the uh, 14, so I'm not too impressed with that. But it's a really good time, though. It's a really good time. Uh, I think I, I want to try and run that again. I think I can get past. I, ugh, I think I can get. I'm sorry about this, guys. I think I can get it in the 14 second range. So let's go back to the garage and let's repair our engine because it was about ready to blow a rod out the side of the block. And let's go back to the test track and wait for it to load again. All right, so we're back at the test track. We got a brand new engine in this baby, and we are gonna get it in the 14 second range. I'm gonna just go ahead and not let off until we hit the finish line, and hopefully we get in the 14 second range. If it gets in low 14s, I know I broke my record, because I think uh, my record on my other truck is uh, mid 14s. But at the same time, we might not have a truck after this. Uh, because it was close last time and like I said I'm not gonna hit the brakes till after the finish line so we're just gonna hope for the best let's get our RPMs up here do a little drop into the clutch oh man Oh, the steering wheel's going crazy right now. By the way, guys, I'm playing this on a uh, Logitech G27 steering wheel. And it breaks. Uh, we didn't get it. And we completely destroyed. We demolished that truck. There is no more truck to be. 
Yeah, we are completely missing our engine. The tires are blown. And other unknown parts are missing. Okay, guys. Well, I'm glad I could successfully give you a tutorial on how to crash uh, street legal redline racing. Uh, because that did completely crash the game as soon as I got done hitting that wall. Uh, it just said uh, the game quit working and asked me if I want to close program and of course I click yes and blah blah blah. So yeah, with that said, uh, that's going to be the end of the video. I hope you all enjoyed and by the way, uh, what you're looking at is the uh, other truck that I've been talking about. Uh, I'm pretty sure it is at around 1400 horsepower. Let's see here. Or, I mean 2400 horsepower but no it's uh, actually at 2169 horsepower so I lied about that too sorry about that guys but uh yeah this trucks pretty nasty also I might include it in my next video just do a little uh, short clip of it just to show you guys uh or because I actually put time into tuning and building this truck and it launches a lot better and whatnot but anyways, uh, like I said, I hope you all enjoyed the video, and if you did, please be sure to click like and subscribe button below, and have a great week. Peace.